Hey everyone, how's it going? This is George Trattress here at Rorick Chevrolet and today I'm going to be showing you this 2017 Chevrolet 1500 Silverado. This one's a Z71 package LTZ trim. It's got the 6.2 liter V8 in it. That's uh, the new engine option they have since 2017. It's basically a high performance engine, 6.2 liter. And man, this truck goes. So I'm going to show you a lot of the features of it, walk around and show you how a lot of those features work and uh, go in depth on the details and explaining and all that. So the first thing you see here is this nice grill and you've got the color matched uh, grill that's usually in chrome and you also have the color matched front bumper which really looks nice, sleek and sporty especially when you have that chrome little bar there on the bottom there really offsets it nice and you know gives the truck a nice sporty look to it. This does have the Z71 package as indicated by that nice little Z71 badge there on the grill. You got the 20 inch five spoke chrome wheels, which are a great look on this truck since you have the chrome mirror caps, chrome door handles, and the chrome body side moldings there. This is an LTZ trim, so you do get, you know, the chrome. Chrome mirrors are the best way to tell that. Four wheel disc brakes on these, six lug hubs on the 1500 trucks. Another thing I'd like to point out is Chevy has this very nice fender lining material there. And what it does is it actually dampens a lot of the road noise and the tire noise when you're rolling on the on the road. And it also provides a great insulation, you know, for water, uh, snow, ice, and also salt in the roads. And it's also a porous material, so anything that gets thrown up in there can actually just fall out, you know, and drain out without it just staying up there and causing, you know, water and all that to be stuck up under the fender well. Z71 little sticker there on the side of the bed. Being that it is a Z71, you do get things like the Rancho struts on all four corners. Heavy duty suspension rides very nice. Also with that Z71 package, you get a skid plate on the bottom of the truck for the transfer case. You get a four wheel drive shift knob, you know, pretty much shift on the fly. You know, you can change it at any time when you're driving. You don't have to stop and change it. As long as you're going 55 miles or under, Come here to the back, you see that nice color matched bumper. Really looks nice on the truck. A little bit different than the chrome that we're so used to seeing. And the color on this truck is a graphite metallic. Really looks beautiful. In the shade, it has that nice, you know, dark kind of black look to it. But, you know, if you walk up to it close and in the sun, you see the little specks and the flakes. Very nice color on this. Got the gold bow ties on this. Offsets the graphite, very nice. LTZ package, like I was talking about. The highest trim that this comes in is the High Country, so the LTZ is right before that. And there's a look at those Rancho struts there, the white and red struts. Also with that Z71 package and, you know, exclusive to Chevrolet only, you get the rear locking differential. So if one tire slips, both tires actually engage. And it gives you, you know, even 50-50 traction on both sides of the rear wheels when you have it in two-wheel drive mode. But this does also have the all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, high and low, which I'll show you in a minute. There you can really see that graphite pretty nice. Looks great with that chrome window molding, chrome door handles, chrome body side moldings, chrome Silverado badging, especially those chrome wheels. Little chrome accents in the grill. To me, that's just the right amount of chrome. I love the way that looks. It is truck month here October at Rorick Chevrolet. So we have zero for 72 months financing on all trucks. Colorados, Silverados, 1500s, 2500s, 3500s. This month only. So it's a great deal for those that are financing. show you this easy lift and lower tailgate one of my favorite features on this truck you don't have that crashing down bed nice easy soft lower and this also does have a spray in bed liner from the factory that gives you that nice Chevrolet bow tie there at the front of the bed a very rugged texture there that you know is gonna last I mean just look how thick 
that spray and bed liner is. I'd say it's even better than a Rhino liner or a Linex liner, to be honest. Extends there on the tailgate. It also has a soft close, so bringing it up, it actually gives you a little mechanical advantage, a little bit easier to lift up than a regular tailgate. And you also get those nice Chevrolet corner steps on the bed, makes it getting in and out of the truck and the bed a lot easier. Another little feature there, you've got the little cornering. Whenever you got your turn signals, the little lights there that show up on that mirror indicate where you're turning. We'll show off the inside of this truck. As you can see in there, you got the black interior. You've got memory seat preset settings, two settings there, and then the set and the uh, all the way down so you can get out of the truck easy. Then over here, you got your mirror adjust, that little joystick there on the top, little circle. And over here, you got the three little buttons there. The left ones to control the left mirror, all the way to the right, controls the right. And that middle button actually folds the mirrors in and out. So if I go ahead and hit that, both mirrors will actually fold inwards. Protect it if you know you're parking on the street or in a tight parking spot, you know. That way someone doesn't take off your mirror. They fold right back out. Very nice feature, I like that a lot. You got your you know, auto down, mirrors, you know, front passenger, rear, all that. Auto down, auto up. You got your child locks for the back. You know, it's actually on a button. You don't have to get out and hit a little latch, mechanical latch on the door to engage that. And you also got your window lock there, so only you can control the windows from the driver's seat. Coming over here, you got that four-wheel drive shift knob I was talking to you about. You can uh, change uh, driving modes or driving engagements at any time as long as you're going 55 miles or under. Right now it's in the auto mode and what that is here, I got this actually set up on the dash. You got this little like off-road screen. That's my favorite little screen to have on this driver information center. Basically what that all-wheel drive mode or that auto mode on that uh, knob is is actually a comparable system to an all-wheel drive vehicle so a computer actually you know programs you know how much you know torque and how much traction to give a specific tire you know based on your conditions or if you're going up a hill or in muddy conditions you know so you actually get out of there with the least amount of wheel spin and the most amount of traction in addition to that you have your two high which is basically your rear wheel drive on this truck Four high for high speed four wheel drive, true four wheel drive, all four wheels. And you got your four low. So that's, you know, your rock crawling, your, your mud crawling, you know, places where you don't have a lot of traction, but you're going at a low speed. And you can also engage that transmission into neutral. If you want to just let the transaction be neutral, nothing connected. On the left there, that little knob, you got your, your uh, interior light dimming. So you can uh, set it brighter or dimmer according to how you like it. Then you got your headlight knob, you got the auto, you can turn it to the left. And it's sprung, it'll turn the lights off if you want them all off, if that's the case. Auto will just have, it has a little sensor in there that'll sense the daylight outside. And if it's dark, it'll turn the lights on for you. So you don't even have to hit that button if you, want, if you don't want to. Then a click to the right, turns the parking lights on, the amber parking lights there. And then that's your full low beam headlights. And to engage your fog lights, you basically just press the button now your full headlights and your fog lights are engaged. Show you how that looks on this truck, especially with this 1500. With the LTZ, you got the LED fog lights, which are actually a lot brighter and a lot sleeker, in my opinion. As you can see there, you got the little circles. Those are your parking sensors. So to actually warn you how close you are to an object when you're pulling into a spot or close to a vehicle. Another nice look is these trucks have that LED strip, so it gives it a nice sharp look on those headlights. Very handsome appearance. Go ahead and turn those lights all the way off. Being that it is an LTC, you have the leather trimmed interior. You've got the white stitching on the leather. It gives it a nice look to it. Very classy, very conservative. Nice looking. 
This one actually has a perforated leather, so you actually have heated and cooled seats. Stepping into this truck, you're immediately greeted by that C71 floor badge there. Nice sporty look. You got your power adjustable seats there. You got your lumbar back and forth. Seat position, tilt in the back. And then you got your seat move forward, move back, rear tilt, front tilt, up, down. Very nice seat, so you can really fine tune this truck depending on your height, your size, all that. So it's a nice, comfortable ride, no matter how big you are. Another nice feature when it comes to, you know, the passengers and who's driving this truck, not depending on height or their size, is you also have the adjustable front foot pedals. So the foot pedals there, as you can see them, I'll hit this button there. As you can see, they come up. Makes it a little bit easier for someone that's shorter to drive the truck. And they go all the way back down there for someone taller. Parking brake there is on the left there. You see the little knob there by the dead pedal. There are those heated and cooled seats I was talking about. Very nice feature to have. There you got your Chevy MyLink there. It's an 8 inch screen across, touch screen. And you got your buttons there for controlling it also. Go to the home screen there. So as you can see, you got your audio, your phone. This, all these Chevrolets have Bluetooth, so you can pair your phone, do voice commands, all that, without even touching your phone. You also have this projection feature, which is you know Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. So with a USB, you can connect your phone to that and use the touch screen, you know, like your phone, you know, so you can see all your apps on that screen, just like as you would your phone screen. So that's a very nice feature to have. You also have the nav. And it's a real-time nav, it's not just the orange star navigation, you know, so you have your actual map there, turn-by-turn -turn directions, and you can even use and program all that with this voice command. So you can even say, you know, tune to whatever radio station, or, you know, give me directions to your point of interest, all that, just by clicking that button. Very nice, cool feature. You can just stay focused on the road without having to mess around or take your eyes away from the road for one second, so... There's your famous dual zone climate control. This is the one feature that Chevrolet pretty much has down. I really love how you can just easily just dial in your temperature there. Right now it's on sync, so both will dial in at the same time. Going across here, you have those power adjustable pedals. You got your traction control off. You got your cab light on and off. It actually has a nice little light to let you remind you if it's on or off. Parking sensors, you can turn those on or off. You got your lane departure warning. Nice little feature to have if you're veering off of the lanes. Keeps you in the lanes and all that. And you got your hill control assist. So if you're coming down a hill at a lower speed, you can hit that. Truck will slow down for you. Apply the brakes the way it needs to. Looking in here for 2017, we've got two USB ports on this side. We've got two 12 volt DC power jacks there. And you also have your 120 volt inverter AC outlet. And this little guide here, a lot of people wonder what that's for. That's actually for sticking your phone in there. So what you can actually do is, if you have your phone or if you're you know, waiting for a call or you just want to see what notifications you get, and you can slide your phone right in there like that. And you can see any screens or any notifications that pop up there very easily, very conveniently. I really like that feature. I haven't seen that in another car. Got a nice little deep storage area there for storing whatever you need to. Two big cup holders up front. And you got this massive console vault here, this huge box in the middle there, as well as this charging, wireless charging pad. If you have a phone that's compatible with that or a case that's compatible, you just set your phone right on there and it'll charge up without any wires. Nice little feature to have. Opening this up, you see that we're greeted by this huge, nice deep box in there storing all sorts of things. You also have the uh, folder rails on the sides there, so you can actually have this as a little mobile office. As well as over here, you got two more USB ports, an auxiliary three and a half millimeter stereo jack, nice little tray there, and you got another 12 volt uh, AC car outlet there. So look at the driver's seat, that nice perforated leather, very clean, sleek look. over here on the glove box I really love how they have this dual opening glove box so you have a little area up there to store and you have your standard nice depth glove box there so nice little storage that they incorporated with that a 
been looking here on that driver information center. Being that it is a Z71, you get that cool Z71 badge there on the top of the tachometer. Looks really cool. Uh, you also have your speedometer there, it goes up to 140. And on the top there, you got all your vitals. You got your battery voltage indicator, top left. You got your engine coolant right there, in the middle, fuel gauge. Then you got your oil pressure. All good vital things to know while you're driving your truck. And then right now you have that driver information center in that off-road mode, which basically tells you, you know, right now we're on that auto all-wheel drive. It also tells you the tilt. So if you're on an angle or you're on an incline, it tells you that. Or if the car's on an incline, back and forth, up and down, all that. Pretty cool little feature. Right now I'll shift into a two-wheel drive here. You see you get a little message, four-wheel drive shift in progress. You can just dismiss that. Then it goes into the two-wheel drive. So as you can see, it only highlights which wheels are actively being, you know, having power transferred to them. So right now it's the rear wheels, that's a two-wheel drive in a truck. Pretty cool. Transmission fluid temp, engine hours. There's a whole array of just pages of information that you can choose to display or not display with this truck. As you can see, we're in the V8 mode. And being that this truck has active fuel management or displacement on demand, that little V8 on the bottom there will actually go to V4, you know, if you're driving, you know, very conservatively on the pedal and you know you're trying to maximize fuel economy hyper miling it'll actually down it'll uh, deactivate four of the cylinders there so it'll save you fuel economy when you're on the highway or driving around the city and then when you hit the pedal and need the power it'll shift it'll uh, activate all eight cylinders and give you the full power that you need to get where you need to go There's a look at that beautiful Chevy steering wheel. I really like how this turns out. Nice white stitching on there. Looks nice and high quality. Great feel to it. Nice soft supple leather around. Great feel to it. As you can see, you got your little directional thing. That's for operating the uh, driver information center there. You can go into different modes, back and forth, audio, phone navigation. You can see all that from the center of the gauge cluster, which is awesome. You got your voice command there, your phone hang up. And some other features on this side is you got your forward collision warning. You can turn that on or off. That's the uh, that little cutout there you see on the dash. So if you're coming up to like a line that's parked traffic, you know, at a stoplight or something, and you're still going full speed and you don't happen to know that, that'll actually flash for you, give it a little vibration in the seat and start to apply the brakes for you. Start slowing you down to, you know, kind of alert you that, you know, you're coming up to a, you know, an object in the road. So that's great to have. You also get the uh, heated steering wheel also. Nice little feature, especially in the winter months. Especially when you got all that leather, touching all that cold leather, it's a lot better to have a nice heated steering wheel ready and warm when you get in the truck. You got your cruise control set there, you know, your cancel, engage, accelerate, decelerate. Another feature on this truck is behind the steering wheel is you actually have these buttons on both the left here and the right. So on this side of the steering wheel, going up and down, you can actually control the volume of the radio station you're listening to. And on this side, it's actually the preset for changing the channel. So that's actually a really nice feature that you don't even have to take your hand off the wheel. You can just hit those buttons freely. And it's actually a really nice feel just to hit those buttons. So. You got your hazard lights up front there. Hit those on, turn the hazards on, all that. Got a nice column shift here. Shifts nice, smooth, nice notchy feel to it. You know what gear you're in. You know it's not sluggish or moving around like other cars do. And uh, you do have this tow mode on there, so you hit that button in there and you've got your tow mode engaged, hangs onto the revs, helps use the engine to slow you down instead of the brakes. And then the other nice thing about this is when you go into low gear, you have the manual mode, so you can actually control gears, you know, from that little plus and minus. So as you can see there, you got the L1. You can actually go L2, L3, you know, you can choose how much you want the transmission to shift. This particular truck has eight speed transmission, so if you want to use all eight gears, you can leave it in that and it'll cycle through all gears, you know, first, second, third, fourth, normally. If you only want to use, say, four gears, for example, you know, your towing or something like that, or, you know, whatever, you want to hold the revs in that, in that position, you can do that or, you know, shift up when you feel necessary, just like a manual transmission without the clutch. Put it back in park. Looking up here, we also have the uh, universal garage door opener buttons, so you can actually program those to open your garage door. Or if you have a home security system, you can actually program one of those buttons to activate and deactivate that home, se home uh, security system. In addition to that, you also have a rear cab sliding window operated by that button there. So your rear window actually slides open and closed. Nice little feature to have.
There's your back seat there with the foldable rear seats. We'll get to that in a minute. Another thing to mention is that this, being that it's an LTZ package, you've got the Bose surround uh, stereo system. Very nice sounding system, very deep bass, nice high treble, mid-range. Very nice sounding system in this truck. Step outside and show you the rear of this truck. This is the double cab. It's basically the extended cab, except they got away with that, you know, suicide style door that opens. So it actually opens like a regular door would. A lot easier in tight parking spaces. You don't have to open both of those doors and, you know, take up all that space. Leather in the back here too. What's nice about these seats is they actually just fold up. No latch, no nothing to worry about. And they stay in place. You can actually store a lot of stuff right in there, you know, whether it be boxes, cargo, you name it. All your uh, tire change stuff is under there. You got your tools, you got your jack on that side, right under that little space under the cab there. Back here you got a little 12 volt, couple of storage, storage spots in that little center console. And you got two map pockets on the rear of the door. Nice little chrome handles. Very nice looking this truck. Get a little bit of an exhaust clip of this idling. Hear that 6-2 idling, it just sounds beautiful. I guess one of the last things I can show you on this is the hood, the engine under it. This is the only 6.2 liter V8 we have on our lot. I call it the race truck. Hood opens up there. No hood prop, nothing of like that, just stays open like that. And there's your 6.2 liter Ecotec V8, with that active fuel management. Idling away. A little bit of information there. Very nice look with that intake manifold. Got the headers on the side. Nice huge radiator up front. Starts ready to go wherever you are. So with that being said, that concludes this little review or overview of this 2017 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 double cab LTZ with the Z71 package. I'm George Trattress here at Rorick Chevrolet in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Thanks for watching.